Hi everybody. Hi, Hi. Pilgrims. Hi from <laughs> Sisters to Santiago here. I'm Sue. And Marie. And we are going on another Camino in about what, two weeks? Mm -hmm. So excited. Um, we're doing the um, Chemin de Puy, also known as the Via Podencia or the 65. GR65. GR65. What does yeah. GR stand for? Oh, well, great, let's go. Greater trail. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we wanted to do another packing video because we did change some things from our last Camino last year. Um, again, we're doing a shoulder season Camino starting in September, actually all in September. Mm -hmm. um, and the weather is going to be, from what we see, similar to what we experienced on the Frances. Um, but we're excited to share some of our changes with you. Uh, first of all, we're going to talk about backpacks. You want to grab yours? Yep. So we actually have um, two different backpacks. And Same company. Yeah, Osprey, which is an amazing company. Um, mine is brand new this season. Last year I had um, a wonderful lightweight backpack, but it did not breathe on the back. So this year I got the Ija. Um, and it has this unbelievable system here. Um, so I'm really excited about not having a sweaty back this time. This is the Ultralight 38 um, Ija, and yours mm -hmm. is? Yes. Mine is probably about 10 years old. I think it's discontinued if you yeah. try to buy it at Osprey, but we did see it on Amazon. It's the Kite 46. Um, I believe I have a large. Oh, a size okay. large. It is about three pounds, thirty S ounces. Yeah, it's yours is not quite a pound more than mine, um, almost. but almost. Um, but where we, her system has um, a back as well. But this one is just actually a lot more air coming through it. So I'm really excited yeah. to see how this works. Now, I used this last time in Spain, and it worked awesome. Yeah, it's great. So I'll be using it again. So next, we are both bringing our trekking poles, and um, we are going to just go ahead and check these. Last year, we had a box that we checked both sets in, and we mailed it. Um, but when we came back, we just did duct tape around all of them and shipped them back um, on on the plane that way. And so this year, I'm just bringing the extra duct tape. Um, that we can just tape them all up. And also we're bringing the tips, which will make it so it's not as loud on the trail when you're walking on gravel or if you're walking on um, the street. Um, tips are really important. So the next thing we'll talk about is water system. We are both doing a bladder system this year. Like we did last year, we both really liked it. It's so much easier, in my opinion, in our opinion, to just take this and just drink out of it anytime you need water versus having a bottle. Having said that, though, I am going to bring a very small um, smart water bottle, and this is going to be specifically for electrolytes. So I've got a handful of electrolytes that we'll be using, um, well, we'll both be using our own. But um, this will just hang, and I'll show you the system in a minute. Um, on my backpack and then I just have this easily accessible. One of the new things for me and not my sister is actually um, a sun umbrella. It very, very lightweight. This umbrella is from z Packs, and I have the mechanism to connect it so it is hands-free on the backpack. And at the end of all this, I'll put the backpack on and show you what this looks like. Um, I'm really excited about having this. My sister decided not to have one, and so we'll see um, how this works, what we think. Moving on, um, here's my sleeping bag. Um, I know there's a lot of discussion about a sleeping bag versus a silk liner, but I think the sleeping bag is, is just a little bit more cozy. It's super lightweight. Um, I did put it in a cinch sack, um, just make it easier because unlike my sister, oh, I <laughs> went to get my sleeping bag. Yes. I decided no on the cinch sack. 
Yeah, let me explain. I bought this when my son was three years old from Target. So I had it and I was going to give it away, but I used it last year in Spain. Um, it's not that heavy, not using the cinch sack. It's about the same size as me. It worked great. It is a little bit heavy, but do you know how much it is for you? I don't off the top of my head, but mm -hmm. I believe mine is a lot lighter. Mm -hmm. um, the beautiful thing about, well, the thing that is great for Anne-Marie is that she doesn't have to use a cinch sack because her backpack has a separate mm -hmm. zipper compartment on the bottom, mm -hmm. and so she can just shove it in there. Um, I don't have that. Everything's top loaded, so. Yeah. Um, but we liked I'm having this because it was, it was kind of cool at night, right? Yeah. Yeah, so oh, it was yeah. just kind of nice to have that coziness. Mm -hmm. Some um, places didn't give you a blanket or maybe yeah. just a sheet, so. Yeah, so it was, it was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about this? Mm-hmm. So we, <laughs> this is the spiny ball rub, or foot ball rub for after hiking all, all day, almost 15 miles or so. This is great to have. Yeah. We both had one in the beginning of the last trip. We ended up returning it and only using one because it is. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's not heavy, but every pound, every ounce, counts. every ounce counts. And but this is, yeah, exceptional. exceptional. We brought it to restaurants, to bars, and would take our shoes off at the end. This is at the end of the day and rub our feet on it. This thing was amazing, and there was absolutely no question that we weren't going to leave this behind. Um, shoes. We both actually have Ultras um, brand, but um, different um, different ones. Yeah. Mine are the Olympus Four, and six long peak. You had the long peaks, so um, both loved them. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing, huge wide footbed, which is great. We, neither of us had any issues with our feet at all last year, so we are very very happy. And did we get a size bigger? Yeah, you, you want to get a size, or half, half size, a size half bigger, a size bigger. Um, so your foot's able to expand Yeah, because it will sweating. Swell. Yeah, yeah. And we're both bringing mm -hmm. our Tevas again. These are the um, Teva um, hiking sandals. They're a little heavy, but let me tell you, they really saved us. So we got to the end of a long day, and if I just had flip-flops, it would be miserable. My feet would have been miserable trying to walk around town. Also, these are great in the shower. Did last year bring up shower the, shoes. But. And you can wear socks with these. Yes. Flip flops you can. That was very important. Yeah. So in case your shoes. Cold or in case your shoes or don't feel right, which ours never did. They always felt right. Yeah. But this was a great alternative than flip flops. A little more heavier, um, but you can wear it with socks. Yep. Yeah. And in the shower. And hike too. Mm -hmm. So we thought that was important. Um, okay, so let's talk about clothing. Um, so I am bringing a couple pieces less than I did last year. I am bringing this very lightweight Patagonia vest. Amory doesn't have one, but she's bringing a super lightweight, what is this, REI? Yeah, I believe so. It's a full, yeah, REI, full sleeve. Full sleeve, and I'm wondering if I'll sweat in it, but I wore hers all the time. Yeah, I didn't. Thing, I couldn't so. wear this because she was wearing it the whole time. Mm -hmm. This is very light. Yeah, this is lighter. Yeah. Well, maybe she can pick one. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then for clothing, other clothing. So for bottoms, we're I am, we're both bringing one pair of bottoms. Last time, I actually brought. Um, two and it was a zipper off pair the zipper off um, pants I didn't like them they weren't comfortable so this year I'm just bringing these one they're really lightweight um, they're from North Face I am going to put a link down below to all of our gear and the brands and everything so if you want to look at that that's going to be available to you last year I brought one squirt bad mistake this year two squirts because I literally lived in these um, these are by Rabbit and they're super lightweight and I love squirts. So two pairs of those. And oh, how about the long sleeve? Another, oh, another yeah, we have, jacket. we have different ones. So she's got a, like a thin layer Columbia. 
that's mm -hmm. a zipper, which is nice because you can regulate. Yep. And mine is um, a over the top. So this I zipper pockets as well. So that's nice. See, I don't have yeah. that. So it's a different thing. Right? I mean, zippers usually have tend a little to, bit, yeah, maybe weight. a tad big more, but um, but that's nice because it has versatility. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're both bringing two wickaway tops. There's one and my other one. And you've got two as well. Yeah. Yes. Um, for underwear, I'm bringing um, their 85% merino wool, which is um, great for hiking. Two pair of underwear and two like bralettes with me. And of course, the infamous buff. Do we wear our buffs a lot? Well, sort of, kind of, maybe. I'm still, the jury's still out for me for the buff. I'm yeah, gonna bring too. it. I don't remember, I'll have to watch the videos. <laughs> yes, please do. Wow. Um, and you'll see us. I think we wore it on our head sometimes, if it was cold. That's true, or if it's hot, yeah. you can get it wet. Oh uh, yeah. We can just get your head wet. Yeah, I stuck my head underwater yeah, a couple times. But, um, and then we got, these great hats. We have the same hat. Um, Amory's is tan, mine's green. The beautiful thing about these hats is you dunk them in water and this layer underneath here stays cold and wet. It doesn't drip in your face, but it stays cool. So we really like them. They are not the cutest hats in the world. <laughs> but I like them. They work. I might not bring them up, sorry. <laughs> Um, three pairs of socks and a shout out to Amanda again this year because whoop, these are a thousand mile socks and I, I don't hear a lot of people talking about these and I don't know why I hear a lot of people talking about the darn tough socks but these are the thousand mile socks and I swear by them they have the built-in liner already in them and they did great for both of us neither of us like I said had any issues yep. with um, with our feet at all. The only issue I would have to say is they didn't dry. Right, but they will also shrink. If you the put dryer, them in the dryer. Which I do, and I don't. So I wish I bought a size bigger. Oh. I'll smush my foot and it will be fine. <laughs> yes, that was, a, that was the one thing that was always hanging on our backpack. If you do see the ones from Spain, you know, this Santiago, you'll see they're always hanging. Yeah, so we have three pair to accommodate that. And um, mm -hmm. if we get our feet get wet in during the day, we have another pair to um, switch out into. All right, one thing that she doesn't bring that mm -hmm. I swear by, and it could be the difference in our ages, <laughs> are compression socks. Uh, last year I brought full compression socks and after a few days, my toes being compressed drove me nuts so I just cut the ends off so my toes could be free. This year I'm actually just bringing these three quarter. Um, I think this is gonna be good. I have these, I wear these not only on the plane but also every night when I sleep and it's a huge difference and I know this for a fact because one night I was just too tired to put them on and the next day my, my legs really did feel a difference. Um, they were sore. So I swear by compression socks, the old lady I am. <laughs> and um, you're probably wondering, well, how old are they? What, are, what is the difference? Well, we're not gonna tell you, so. <laughs> Guess who's older? <laughs> when it, Me, compression socks, gave it away. Is it nice? <laughs> oh, talk about the, yeah. Um, so towel, we're gonna stay in a lot of, uh, how do you say them? Jeets. Jeets, which are like hospitals in the United States. Um, and oh, yours is bigger. Oh, maybe it's too well, big. I have a smaller one. This was the lighter one. Same kind of material. Yeah. And so I know for showers. Yours, for showers, Mark, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, micro, um, micro cloth, so it dries really fast. Yeah. 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 I'm used to it. All right. Okay. The battle of the poncho versus. Rain jacket and pack cover. Pack cover. So last year we both did the rain jacket and pack cover. And there was one day specifically where I actually, it would rain and then stop raining. And I would have to put on my rain jacket, put my pack back on, 
and then it would stop raining and I would start sweating immediately, take the pack off, take the rain jacket off, put it away. And then five minutes later, it would start again. Mm -hmm. So the idea of taking it on and off, I'm done with it. So, okay, well, for me, when we were going over the Pyrenees, um, it was very windy and with rain comes wind a lot of times and people, <laughs> they had their ponchos, <laughs> we had these, we're like, poof, flying, the rain was going in. So that- um, But we're not gonna be on the Pyrenees. But we won't be on the Pyrenees. And really that's where we experienced the most wind, was up high. Um, this right here came, well, it's part of my backpack. It was extra bits, fit perfect for it. So I decided to stay with this. I actually wore, kept this on my backpack for a long time and took this off because I was hot and at least my clothes were dry. I really don't care when I'm sweating. If I get wet, personally, mm -hmm. um, it felt good, but I did care if my backpack got wet. So having this was great. Also, the most important was at night, it's versatile. Like I said, she's not gonna wear that around at night and I won't be with her if she <laughs> But this, I could as a, an extra layer of warmth. So maybe you don't need to bring the, the down jacket. Maybe this will be enough. Maybe something to think about because I'll probably wear hers all the time. Yeah, I didn't wear it last time. I know. Oh, at this point, I'm taking I, my down jacket out <laughs> because I was always I'm always hot. So, all right, then. <laughs> there you go. Oh my, you took what? it out. Oh. I don't I don't understand. Is why mm -hmm. this is not fashionable? <laughs> I I'm not cute. No, <laughs> we're gonna cut that out of the video, right? <laughs> You want to talk about fruity snacks? Well, um, <laughs> this is mostly for the plane. If I have any leftover, which I think I'm bringing six or seven because on the plane I love these. I actually um, probably will be gone by the time I'm hiking. But if not, I will carry them. They're just like nice, small from Costco. You get a box of 72. Um, and they but, give you some sugar and. Anyway, she's not carrying mine this year, so I've got to carry my own. I am bringing only one emergency bar. We're not fans of bars, but really for just emergency in case, like, I don't know. Again, packing your fears, this would be it, but. I'll probably just buy some nuts. I don't like bars at all. Yeah, so. Um, although we'll be going through a lot of towns, like every five miles or so, so we can always buy. Sometimes less. Yeah. Oh, five miles, miles. I'm just thinking. So, yeah, we can always buy some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, sunscreen. Mm -hmm. um, here's a three ounce 70 for our body, but we are also both bringing this to mineral um, for your face. I'm not bringing that one. You're not? No. Oh. I shared it last time. I think we can share it. Okay. Then I'll bring one for both of us. But or anyways, I can bring one for both of us. That's okay. But I will bring the, and we did go through it. I think we ended up yeah. buying more, but three ounces. Yeah. This is great because it um, it's not sticky and slimy, and so it's just mm -hmm. easy to apply on your face. Just another thing to take out. That's okay. I'll just wipe your hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so electronics. Uh, let's talk about electronics. Okay, I'll move aside. <laughs> so first thing is a phone um, for videoing and taking pictures. We also have, um, both of us have the adapter for the European adapter. The beautiful thing is that it's got several different ports and um, we've got different things that we needed to charge. So it was really nice. One of the things that I have to charge and I carry with me is my Fitbit. And so that every has to be charged every four days. And I also have um, an outlet that can go into here that can charge more because I've added how many I have and I will need all of these. So I do have a headlamp. Amory's not taking a headlamp. She used her, um, her phone last time. I had to buy a new headlamp because mine broke on the Camino last year. But the beautiful thing I like about this one is that it has a red setting. So when I'm getting up really early in the morning in the sheets, I'm not gonna disturb people with a bright light. It's got a, a red light here. This also is a rechargeable 
Um, so no battery, so it's a little bit lighter weight, but then I have this, so. <laughs> um, selfie stick, so we can do videos and show you um, along our journey. And earbuds, because we like to listen to book on tape and um, maybe music. Had to have the cord for the phone. Charger for the Fitbit and external battery pack. And um, my sister's not bringing one of these. Um, my phone battery gets eaten pretty quick because all the videos I do. Um, so I'm doing most of the videoing um, on my phone. So between that and listening to books on tape, it's just nice to have a battery um, backup if we need when we're on the trail. And all of that goes in this handy dandy little thin pouch. The next thing I want to talk about is some glasses. We are both bringing two pairs. First pair of sunglasses, second pair of sunglasses. Oh, first pair of cheaters, <laughs> second pair of sunglasses. Um, since we both need the cheaters to read anything, <laughs> menus and such, even though they're all gonna be in French, so it's gonna be kinda hard to read them anyway, but we'll have those. And um, I want to do a shout out to Camino Tellers. Um, they just put this Journey Within book out, and I'm, I'm so excited. Every, or last year when we went on the Camino, I brought a little journal and I, I used it, a little pen and a journal. This year I went ahead and got their Journey Within, and it's got a lot of areas where I can write things, but it's got some really great quotes and inspirational comments. And I am so excited about bringing this on our journey. And thank you, Ricky and Eric, for putting this together. And we are both bringing these little bags. So great bag for going to the bathroom, um, bring our clothes, and our toiletries. Also, if we're going into town to buy some food and we want to um, say bring buy a lunch, we'll have it. Also, when we're going into town, maybe to eat dinner, then we can throw our uh, credential and our um, passport, our money in here, and also a bottle of water. So we have that. So it's just nice to have this little pouch, and they're like super thin, and um, we had them last year and love them. So that's that. Um, I am taking uh, two uh, tendon knee braces. I actually ended up wearing both of these last year most of the time and they really did work. So I'm gonna bring them again. And then this year I have a Kula cloth and this is new. And this is basically to use when you go pee and it is a great thing, look it up, um, trying to minimize how much toilet paper I'm using and definitely don't wanna leave any on the trail. But if number two happens and I can't get to a bathroom, and Marie's making a face at me, then you gotta bring a little toilet paper. Because it'll just drip dry, I won't be bringing a Ooh, that cloth. And it's an ounce. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, you wanna talk about our foot stuff? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can just right. talk about the main pieces. Yeah. This is a wool, right? Yeah, sheep's kind of wool. wool. Sheep's wool. Um, this is very helpful for me between um, my, mostly because bunions might. <laughs> this is more information okay, than you Okay, so between but... my feet, my big toe and my second toe would rub together. I put it in there. It was perfect. If I had a blister, you put it on that. Yeah, you just this take a little piece This is just essential. Um, every morning before we walk, we lather our feet with Vaseline. Yeah. Um, do we, we end up buying more? No, no, this is this actually well? left over from last year. So I only used half of this. And then we put this on and then our sock. Yeah, and then our feet were really soft too at the end of the yeah. day. <laughs> so um, that definitely yeah. is critical for our daily regimen. And also some additional things. Um, bringing two regular band-aids in case mm -hmm. get a cut. 
bringing one butterfly band-aid um, in case we really get a cut and obviously we can't get stitches while we're walking so hopefully we won't have to use that. Uh, three anti-bacteria um, ointment, triple ointment in case we get something that is really bad um, and mm -hmm. also alcohol um, wipes to clean the area and in this is a needle and thread so if we do get a big blister we will use a needle with the thread keep some of the thread in there so it will drain out um, and um, the alcohol wipes will help and then use the needle for that yes exactly yeah so or hopefully we won't have that wool. issue um, I am taking um, some Sudafed I hope I won't get a head cold, but I know that I have a hard time finding Sudafed when I travel, and this really just is the thing that dries it up and gets rid of it for me, so I am taking enough for both of us. I don't know. I've yeah. never taken Sudafed in my life. Oh, well, don't take enough for me. <laughs> All right. I'm just taking I'm sure it for me not then. not a pharmacy. Not for Sudafed. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm taking a few uh, Tylenol PM. I'm gonna take one on the plane you going take over. One for me, maybe I should use that. Well, the Tylenol PM. Yeah, but I, you should try it out first ahead of time to see yes. how you feel. That's what we did last time. Yeah, and I did try this. So I actually tried um, some Zequil to see if I liked that better, and I felt groggy the entire mm -hmm. next day. So I'm sticking with Tylenol PM personally, um, and. Um, also, some pain meds. Um, whatever your choice of pain medication is, I would definitely bring some. If it's ibuprofen, I'm not bringing these because I'll have other ones. Um, or tramadol or what's meloxicam. It's meloxicam. a prescription though, so. Yeah, so um, you're probably gonna wanna bring something just because you're gonna be sore. Um, and I wish I was one of those that didn't. So the meloxicam, it's, for a full day, you only take one, but it, you have to take it maybe a week before or so to get in your body before you leave. And you need to take it with food. Um, Ibuprofen is also a good choice, but you have to take more. And um, it doesn't last eat. all day. It's <laughs> you know, but this is prescription. So, and I don't think you need to take food for this. So, no. So we couldn't take this till breakfast, and sometimes we were walking already five miles, but it's. True. Still in the system. Yeah. And I do remember though that you were like, I wish I could take some more. So you can only take one here every six hours, right? Yeah. So something to think about still. I do remember that. Yeah. And what if you get a headache? I don't know. <laughs> I guess the jury's still out on what we're oh, going to be bringing. Should, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so that is the rest of our. I, we actually took more, or at least I took more last year, um, and I really got this packed down a lot lighter for the, the medical stuff, so I'm really happy about that. All right, now personal toiletries and such. Um, okay, so we have to know. Um, deodorant, a little travel size, travel size toothpaste. Um, little uh, travel um, toothbrush. This was one of those folding ones. I took the bottom off to create a lighter situation. The tiniest comb in the world. I have short hair this year, so I'll make it much easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, one ounce containers of shampoo, conditioner, and face lotion. I, um, I don't like dry hair, so I, I know I probably don't need to bring the conditioner, but for me it's it's worth it and it's one ounce um, face lotion definitely mm -hmm. important um, nail clippers uh, for your toenails Need primarily yeah. only one one so I won't bring them oh yeah you don't need to no, I can bring they're it having, you're not supposed to bring them on the plane oh. I guess, but. yes you can so. um, and a nail file I'll bring that and um, bringing um, some Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer, a little thing that hooks onto your pack. Oh, you know what's important here? Mm -hmm. I noticed you put the um, cellophane between so it doesn't open up. Oh. When you open it, 
when on I the travel. plane, when you travel, so it doesn't explode. Yeah, I do that with all of my liquids. Mm -hmm. So I put a little piece of cellophane and then put the cap on. So I don't know, okay. I've had things explode in my bag before and that's just no fun. Mm -hmm. So thanks for bringing that mm -hmm. to my attention. Um, dental floss, I hate having things stuck in my teeth. And two lip, um, SPF lip things because mm -hmm. I did lose one last time. I always mm -hmm. seem to lose one. I only bring one. Okay. I don't so, know. <laughs> I but mine. there are stores that you can go to. So if you I need know, to buy but another. what happens if I lose it on the trail? And it's mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you'll have That's a okay. I'll have a backup. Mm -hmm. um, Every, everything counts though in ounces. I mean, you might true. say, hey, this. That's who cares? It's just you know another little thing. But if you have a lot of little things, yeah. everything adds up. True. Um, three tiny little hair ties because I can't get my hair in a ponytail. Okay, and I'm bringing more because they really don't weigh anything, <laughs> and I have the clear ones, and I tend to lose them. Oh, I don't lose but mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is something I'm bringing she didn't bring. Um, I use this all the time. This is one of those C hooks. So I would hang my um, backpack on it. So I'd have it by the um, bed. Also in the bathroom, there's often not a place to put your bag. And so I can just clip this there and access my stuff in the shower really That's easy. Good idea, especially your backpack. You don't want it on the, oh, it's pretty light also. Yeah. Uh, you don't want your backpack or anything on the, Floor, um, or on the bed. bed bugs. Oh yeah, we don't want them on the bed either. Backpack on the bed? No, not on the bed. I might have to get that. Although I didn't have a problem last time either. No, so, I don't know what you use in the shower. Well, I just use my bag. Your bag, bag, and then but where you put it? Oh, put it down. Hmm. So okay. Well, jury's out. <laughs> Again. Um, we each have a half a bar of Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. I love this stuff. Mm -hmm. So last year um, we brought soap and mm, I had it you. in a, yeah it is. Mm -hmm. I had it in a baggie and it was slimy and right. really just like annoying. A, just like a regular baggie. Yeah. That's what I still have. And so in watching other people's YouTube videos, um, packing videos, I came across this. This is made specifically for soap. Hmm. and it dries it and so it doesn't get slimy and I'm excited so we'll see how this works it um huh. I didn't know she bought that something without telling me oh surprised she didn't buy me one <laughs> I'm too um so anyways I'm excited about that last year we brought those it was sea to summit little paper um laundry sheets and First time I used them, they clumped it all up and left clumps all over the clothes. Mm -hmm. So this year we're just using this for our body, our yep. this soap, as well as our clothes. So, so that would probably be good because I might run out then. You think? No. I don't know if it's slimy and, yeah. Oh. I think we'll be okay. It's I can always buy some. We have store. That's true. It's true. Maybe not the same. Um, we are bringing mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five clothes clips. Last year we brought a clothesline, which was actually a long shoelace. Um, I thought, ha, shoelace in case ours breaks, clothesline in case we need. We never used the clothesline, um, but we needed these. Um, there was always a clothesline for us to, to use, but clips were mm -hmm. few and far between. So mm -hmm. we got to five clips, should be Wooden. safe shit. Right. Yeah. They're well, these are actually kind of heavy compared to probably plastic ones, but it's what we had, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, we are also bringing um, some nappies or diaper pins. Um, this is what we will use to hang anything that did not dry um, on the back of our packs. And so if you watch our, like we said before, if you watch our videos, you can mm -hmm. see definitely our socks hanging, but um, so these came in handy, we use these all mm -hmm. the time. I think the most important thing <laughs> in the pack, earplugs. These are the wax silicone earplugs. And basically, they're the swimmers plugs. Um, these are the only things that block noise. 
and they really do a good job. And they don't stick out, they don't fall out, they're fabulous. They do get kind of icky after a while, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you want to bring a few extra. Um, and so they're in this little pouch. Mm -hmm. And what are they for? Sleeping. Sleeping because we're in dorm style rooms. Yes, people snores. snore. Um, noise airplane. Yeah, I won't they, be able to bring my noise cancelers with me. I always bring an airplane because yeah. I only have the backpack and carry everything. Yeah, so we're not bringing more mm -hmm. luggage. Um, what we're bringing is what we're carrying every day. I have two things that are what I'd say luxury items. One is my Listerine spray because <laughs> I like to have fresh breath all the time. Um, um, but I bring gum, so. so oh, yeah, there you go. Up. There, there you go. And. Mm -hmm and one piece of makeup and this is for my concealer for under eyes because i get dark circles under my eyes and i know i shouldn't worry about it but it's yeah yeah and it's the liquid too the clipper for your yeah but i but it's mm -hmm. it's important to me so i'm bringing it i All brought right. it last year and i used it every morning good last thing yes oh, okay okay so um this is a little pouch I just rigged up to use. <laughs> it's gonna actually sit right here um, with my belt for my backpack. Mm -hmm. Last year I had my credentials in the top of my pack and I had to get my sister to get it out every time I wanted to get a stamp or if she wasn't with me, because we would separate sometimes, then I would have to take the backpack off and do it, and it right. was really annoying. Also, all my stuff was here. It was hard to get to, I think. I can't put credentials here. No, so. it's too big. So, yeah, she's thinking about right here. Yeah. And and the cool thing is I can have my phone right here. Mm -hmm. I can have anything that I want easily accessible. So my earbuds, my fruit snack. But, yeah, so I like it. Yeah. So it would, we haven't tried it, have we? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna just Where did there. you get this? Um, in case someone wants to see Yes, this well this is, this is actually a, a photography kind of. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's extra oh. where you put your money. I mean, it's just, that's it's really nice. I know, light. yeah, it's really light. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, it's, it's perfect. So, <laughs> yeah, so uh, again, we're gonna have the list of everything below, so yeah, feel yeah. free to take a look at that. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, there you go. She had to cut one. this. Yeah. You had to so, cut this. So. Yeah, so I had to jerry-rig it a little. Okay. But, um, and this is my little purse. And in here is passport, uh, driver's license, credit card, and yes. We, so, yeah, so you want to talk about the euros? Go ahead. Come well, on. we. 350. We, yeah, so 350 yeah. euros each mm -hmm. we're bringing. Um, a number of the JITs won't accept credit cards, and mm -hmm. so we have to have cash. And also, if there's stands and stuff, we want to buy some food, and I'm sure they might not take we might credit have, cards. We might not have enough, but we'll use credit cards when we can. Yeah, I think we'll be good. So we kind of figured it out, and we'll be on the trail for nine days, and I think that's going to be sufficient because so, we'll be able to use credit cards for other times. If not, then a bank. Yes. We'll bring a oh, bank got a brand new bank card. Don't forget that. I think it's on your list. Okay. Okay, so for me, I this. I'm not going to bring, I'm going to bring um, a baggie, a baggie, which is a lot lighter than this. Um, just wanted to say, just another, true, another, it's not that light. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not that heavy. Um, bringing some extra baggies, um, because when you go and you go buy some food, you might want to put it in here, like if you buy a sandwich for the trail or something. So you're going to want to bring some extra bags, mm -hmm. and in case one of yours busts to mm -hmm. um, all your stuff's in it. So I've got two of these gallon size, and they're in one of these little smaller Ziploc bags. And then I need to bring the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, will you get the, um, mm -hmm. the spray that's over there? Yeah. yeah, so one of the things we're going to do in, um, is spray our backpacks and spray our sleeping bags just those two items with a bed bug spray um and 
We're not going to spray our clothes because um, we're going to be washing them a lot. So I think we'll be we'll be fine just doing this. This is what we did last year, so we'll do it again this year. And I think we've gone through everything. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to pack it up, and we'll show you what it looks like all packed up. So it's all on. It feels really good. I love my new backpack. I'm excited. Um, I love the idea about this pouch and um, I'll be using my poles so I don't have them packed. One thing I didn't do before and this is like I said, this is going to be for my electrolytes. Amory drives her crazy. It never bothered me hanging there. So um, again, it's just, you know, what people are interested in doing, but I'm going to go ahead and weigh this now and we'll be right back. So just weighed it all in and it's at 14.4 pounds. I'm really excited about that. That's with no water and just the little fruity snacks in the bar you saw. So it's without the lunch but and no water, but 14.4 pounds, I'm super excited. I think that's a really lightweight um, backpack and um, I think I'll be fine. Hi. Remember now, if you like the video and it was helpful, please subscribe and like. Yeah, so cheers. Cheers. Cheers to our next Camino. Yep. Which we are flying out on September 2nd, and which is what? Two weeks. Week and a half? Maybe two weeks. Week and a half? Two weeks. <gasps> so anyway, we're drinking a little Rioja in honor of our Camino last year in Spain because we'll be drinking French wines. That's so, right. So, Oh, and of course, we didn't mention the most important thing is our shell. We're bringing our shell oh. that we had from our Camino last year. So, and how do you say cheers in French? Um, in French. Santé? Santé. 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 And um, not Buen Camino, it's Bon Chemin. Bon Chemin. Bon Chemin. Bon chemin. After doing the packing video and looking at my really, towel, my really towel, long, very long, heavier, heavy Sue, Sue's towel is much, much smaller and I don't need to wrap it around myself. I just need to do that. And I thought maybe uh, toilet paper, maybe air dry, maybe paper towel, just to okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to cut it in half so I can just bring half. Every ounce counts. All right, here we go. You want to hold it? Do you want me to do the go ahead? Do you want to? Oh, mm -hmm. and it will probably unravel, and I'll end up with a <laughs> washcloth, <laughs> or yeah, maybe just bring a washcloth. <sighs> I never thought of that. No, you need Instead a little of... bit more. <laughs> now look, somebody else will have their own. So it has a clip, so I'm going to bring the clip side so I can dry it. Perfect. Still seems a little big. There it is. You want to cut it more? No. 